today I am cheating again. I'm making YouTube content without even having to do anything. This is Kevin and Brittany over in Europe somewhere with Frederick Osbo and they're going ice drifting and I've always wanted to know how the heck ice drifting cars work, what tires they use, how much power, all of these things. I really want to do it myself. So please follow them on social media and stuff as a thank you. They have Instagram pages and YouTube pages. They both produce really cool content. Brittany is a drifter from the Lone Star Drift Series and has been around with us for a while. So thank you so much for making this video for us. Everyone enjoy. And also, if you are an ice drifter, please invite me ice drifting in 2019 winter. I want to go ice drifting. Take me ice drifting. All right. Everyone enjoy. Bye. All right, so we are in Sweden with our good friend Frederick Osbo, which is actually pronounced Osbo. Guys, so we've been butchering it this whole time. The whole so, time. Yeah, the whole time. So we're in Sweden though, and as you can see, we are on a frozen lake with Supras. Partially frozen lake. Partially frozen lake now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're ice drifting, which is something that these guys do all the freaking time, and it's amazing. And I'm gonna let Frederick explain a little bit more about it, but we'll start with the cars first. How are these things set up for this? They're actually pretty basic. So this car is my car, a trusty old Mark IV Supra NA. And you know, I keep posting photos and videos of this thing online. People are like, why the heck is it not turboed? Because this is what people are used to seeing, right? Big horsepower turbo Supra with all the expensive mods that TRD stuff. <laughs> we actually don't want any of that. We want the base model. We want none of the extras. We don't want the electric you seats. You want reliable. Reliable and, and simple and not too much power. Uh, because contrary to what a lot of people think, these tires don't last forever, you know? They're, they're studded, mm -hmm. and if you have more than 200 horsepower per axle, they're only gonna last you half a day. Now, with, so with how you guys have your car set up, how long do these tires typically last you now? It, it really depends. So today, it's, it's a pretty, pretty warm day, you know? That we're actually on top of a lake that's about to, we're about to go through, pretty much, <laughs> you know? It's been thinning out progressively all day long. <laughs> and, and, and that makes the ice really soft. So that's actually light on the tires. But okay. when you have really cold weather, really hard ice, which is what we call steel ice, that's actually really hard on the tires. So if you go three laps or more, you come back in, the tires are, are warm to touch. Oh, wow. And what okay. happens then is that the, the the rubber will start folding and then the, the studs will fly everywhere. Start, yeah, okay. So you lose all your studs basically, which means you've got to swap your tires out. So naturally aspirated, studded tires, Y'all still jump these. You got air <laughs> yeah. earlier. I got yeah. footage of them getting air. I don't think that happens too often, but even still, you can see where they have a track laid out and there's basically these packs of ice along the edge and you hit those uh, relatively hard sometimes. Is that, how does that affect the car? Like wear on it? So th these weren't meant to, to jump, right? A yeah. Supra was never meant to jump. Right. I've actually been toying with the idea of putting a, a, a hydraulic bump stop and stuff like that so on So what, what do you have suspension wise? So what's, this, what's the suspension setup? This one is, is factory shocks. It had, but it has the Bilstein upgraded shocks, so the yellow ones, a little bit stiffer, but they're pretty worn now. And on the ice, you want something that's pretty soft and, mm -hmm. and compliant. Okay. Uh, so, so you don't have coilovers or nope. anything like that? Nope. We so, actually raced the car a little bit in the front, just used spacers. We've run uh, a knuckle, we basically cut knuckles. Okay, so uh, you have an angle kit? Angle kit. And it's something we've perfected over the years, finding exact acrimane okay. and yeah, stuff no. like that. Okay. So anything besides that, besides an angle kit and Bilstein shocks with a spacer to raise it? Hydraulic uh, e-brake. Hydraulic e-brake, okay. And where we've spent a lot of time and money and effort is in the transmission. So the, the W58, the five-speed Supra transmission, is made of butter. Yeah. It's, it's really soft, it'll break in an instant. Okay. So we've this thing has a, a custom-built Tenachi clutch package that uses a BMW M3 transmission. Okay. My friend Tudal Nish's car uses a sequential. So we've been playing around with gear ratios and 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 transmissions and stuff like that to have something that that'll extract every little bit of power. Okay. So the, okay. the less power you have, the more the more uh, careful you want to be with your gearing to get it just right. Okay, and uh, the, rear, the rear diff? Welded. Just welded? Yeah. Yeah. Just a welded okay. rear diff. Hey, welded diffs have won are, the FD championship for years now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> these are literally like, it's the simplest build for a drift car. So and only- These things take a beating. You guys have had these specific Supras for a hot minute. Yeah. And you guys come out here 
often ish. Yeah. So how? Right? Yeah. How practice. often? How many so times? Use this, season? use this for actual Formula D practice in your off yeah. season. Yeah. So so I I'm from Norway and this this place is uh, is an hour from my house. We're in Sweden now. We just crossed the border. Yeah. Um, spent half my time in San Diego in winter time and come back here to practice with my buddies and I made some great friends here just across the border. We hail from Norway every weekend or as often as we can. Last year I logged 15 days of actual tandem practice or ice driving or hooting around or whatever you want to call it and coming into Long Beach I realized this is this is something important you know the, hitting the ground or, or hitting the track in Long Beach for the first time in 2018 I realized I never forgot how to drift so it's it keeps you keeps you warm in terms of your skill set. Mm -hmm. It's great tandem practice because you can go lap after lap after lap after lap. It doesn't cost you a set of tires every two runs. Okay. Um, and it's it's very efficient and effective practice. The Plus, only, it's a lot of fun. I see. It's been freaking blast. And the, so the only thing it really depends on is um, how deep the ice is. Which yeah. I love how, for the record, we drove out onto the ice prior to measuring the depth of the ice <laughs> earlier. We waited like another 20 minutes before we actually measured. We should have probably done that first, but. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing is that if, if you have steel ice, the highest quality ice, this thick, you can actually drive a tank on it. And, but the problem is when it's hot like today, the, it gets soft, it gets mushy, and now it kind of starts coming apart. So we much. were tearing into it pretty easy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just one pass through. I know it's hard to see now because it's kind of, it's starting well, to Well, you can kind of see melt, it melt, right here, yeah. But yeah. one pass through with the tires would groove in about an inch or two. And it's about 12 inches or so thick right now, give yeah. or take. So uh, you can't do donuts in the same place for a very long period of time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we were always changing the track up. Today we, because everything melted, it kind of turned the lake into an open slate so we could go wherever we wanted. So we've been bombing down downstream pretty much and made <laughs> our own track. <laughs> we've, we've, we've set up a track here, we've, we've gone clockwise, counterclockwise, we've done it's like it's like playing a video game and waiting in the lobby you know when people are fooling around and doing whatever they want that's kind of the the feeling of being on the lake with their buddies no it's, it's definitely fun so yeah. so stock motor uh so transmission is pretty much so knuckles transmission yep uh, well the diff that's and it we, we have a half cage uh hydraulic key brake uh hydraulic brake. Yeah, so i mean that's the basic yeah other it's, than the transmission that is the most basic setup you have yeah and then so what are your studded tires so these tires are the best ice tires you can buy for money mm -hmm. these are real wrc tires from the pro wrc teams um they have seven or eight millimeter studs um I'm not actually sure what these are, but that depends on whether they're meant for snow or ice. Gotcha. So with the snow, you want to go through the snow so you can reach into the ice underneath. Mm -hmm. But for ice, if you have studs that are too long, it heats up the tire too much. So so there, there's a couple different variations and widths and stuff like that. And you guys probably probably noticed that they're pretty narrow, mm -hmm. yes, really skinny. very narrow. <laughs> and the idea is to put a lot of of pounds of pressure per stud so you can really dig it into the ice and if, if i can be a little bit technical mm -hmm. the the sensation of drifting in formula drift or, or drifting on on dry tarmac mm -hmm. is that you have the most you have the highest amount of grip before you're drifting so when you're grip driving you have the most amount of grip once you start drifting you're actually losing grip and the more sideways you are you're losing more yeah. and more here it's a little bit different it's actually pretty loose around the center when you go straight when you start turning and you, you start, start building your, your grip up, G-force will, will, will push those studs into the ice and give you way more grip than you have going straight. So <laughs> out here, it's, it, it's in a sense more fun than drifting on dry, tar, <laughs> on dry tarmac because you have to really go for it. You have to drive sideways. Right, you guys so were fast. pinned at red line for five line. minutes straight. The yeah. whole time. Yeah, we were, we were like in the car, ever. literally like lap six or seven. I was like, uh, okay, is that it? Now? And mm, lap 10, <laughs> lap 12, literally red line, third gear the whole time. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't awesome. believe it. Yeah. Do you, do you like to cuddle or do you like to go for it? Yeah, no, yeah. hey. <laughs> I was, I, you know, I just didn't expect it. <laughs> I didn't expect it at all. This is hands down the craziest, most fun drifting. I wish we could be live right now so we'd be had. like, do you have any questions for this guy right here? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if you do have any questions, ask us in the comments. We can always get a hold of him yeah. and we can answer in another video. So um, if you're watching this and you have questions about the ice drifting or the Supras or any of this in general, 
just message us. We read through them, and, and we'll get back in touch with Os Ospa. Almost. Ospa. 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 Double A turns into this letter O, which is o. an A with a dot above. Ospa. But don't worry about that. Ospa's fine. <laughs> if you guys have any questions whatsoever, you can always ask in the comments. And you can go to our channel, Light Bright, to see the full video of this entire trip and everything we did all day today, which included Kevin and I hanging out the back of one of these Supras while the back of two of the Supras, two of the Supras <laughs> while the other ones drifted behind us. So yeah, cool stuff. Check out our channel and back to your normal show, Aaron. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> that should be good. Drifting. Yeah.